Now, there have been a lot of advances with AI in the last few years. Yeah, developers of productivity apps, they seem to be finding the answer to the question, where's the money in this area? WCNC Charlotte's uh, anchor Carolyn Bruck has more on one recent advancement. Apple getting into artificial intelligence, but are we ready for it? I'm Carolyn Bruck, and this is your Where's the Money Minute. Apple stock spiked following a report that it's developing its own equivalent to ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an artificial intelligence chatbot developed by a company called OpenAI that, when prompted, can do so many things. It can write essays, compose emails, create programming code, and so much more. The AI platform scans the internet to harvest information about every topic imaginable. Like ChatGPT, Apple now has an internal foundation for AI, and according to a new report, a team of engineers has built a chatbot that some are calling Apple GPT. And it's not just Apple getting into artificial intelligence. Microsoft also getting in on the action. The tech company announcing a new generative AI subscription service for Microsoft 365 users. For 30 extra bucks a month, the company will give subscribers access to AI-powered versions of Teams, Excel, and Word. They say AI could rank your emails by importance, summarize meetings, and analyze spreadsheet data. For now, the tool is still in its testing phase. Now, as far as Apple's AI is concerned, it's not exactly venturing into new territory. The tech giant has been integrating AI into its software for a long time. The best example of this is Siri. Lover or hater, she's one of the pioneers of the artificial intelligence space. No word on when Apple's so-called Apple GPT will be released. With your Where's the Money Minute, I'm Carolyn Brooke.